You know, when you are diagnosed with cancer, and if you're the type of person that kind of just has a fear and it just go or whatever, to be to re- to receive a diagnosis like that, you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down. Get up. I don't care if the doctor told you you got stage four, and you about to die tomorrow. Tomorrow not here. The type that I have is really, really rare. Uh, metaplastic cancer, um, only they say only about 1% of the population get that type of cancer, and there's no treatment regimen for it. So knowing that, I mean, I, I just instantly went into panic mode. Um, I'm a single parent. Um, so, yeah, um, that's my life right there. I mean, at the time of my diagnosis, I was about to get cut off of Medicaid. I do have a full-time job, but I still need Medicaid. Yeah, because the insurance that they offer at the job was just outrageous, you know, because I can't pay for these treatments. You know, just to build a loan for the emergency room was almost $2,000, and they didn't even do anything to just look at me. Like, are you serious? You're helpless. I can't go to Medicaid and be like, reinstate me. I got a bag. I got to plead. I got to cry. I got to do everything you could possibly do to get these people to to get their human emotion and be able to be in tune with where my situation is and how bad I need it. Now they only extended me for, I think, about two years. Two years. But even after that, what happens? If they drop me, I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm not trying to think about that right now. There's just, just, just no option to just stop. you got to keep fighting. And I keep reminding myself how important it is to do that because who else is gonna do it? Who else gonna do it? Gonna do it like Jeannie, you know? Cause she, somebody else may be able to fight for me, but they ain't gonna get it done like me. <laughs>